Brian Jones, I'm a rough sleeper. Brought up in the southeast of England, really. Yeah. Uh, left when I was 22, you know, moved, moved to Dorset. It was sort of in different sort of accommodation, but sort of out of work. The disillusion with society. And I went back to the southeast for a bit and then I ended up in a B&B basically, which wasn't very good. And there was lots of travelling about, you know, itinerant homeless. Me and people like Brian he goes will have seen it just been beautiful and a real kind of joy for me sort of October time I met him. Um, he's great, he sells a big issue with a lot of passion and just a lot of uh, conviction really. Anybody else for big issue? He's a great guy, really wise guy, a real humble character, real humorous guy. Buy this one, get two free staples, scrap them in and get more than what you would for the magazine. Buy it, win a romantic weekend in Afghanistan. Buy it, win a luxury trip around the world and get your big issue and your Technicolor dream. You walk down the street and you hear him just shouting these brilliant one-line phrases that really just catch your attention. Anybody else want to help the homeless, not the hopeless, by buying this magazine? I've been selling big issue for a number of years on and off. It's been, you know, beneficial to just be able to make some income and try and, when selling it, try and stand up on my own two feet, really. The reason I believe I can really stand on my own feet now is because you know God uses those that have kind of been written off by the world and whatever. Ten magazines to go to ten good homes, ten good reliable owners needed, much better than Andrex toilet tissue. Anybody else want to waste their money on this rubbish? On a more serious note, this is a good magazine. There's actually some days when this uh, isn't exactly a piece of cake to sell it, you know, you're not getting the response that you want to. Sometimes, you know, obviously you get, you know, if you get sort of like completely blanked out by people, you know, at times you can take that a bit personally if you're particularly under pressure, but a lot of the time you can understand some of the reasons why people sort of don't want to acknowledge a big issue seller. I don't think I've ever bought a big issue. I very guiltily walk by and try to get about it and sort of turn up my iPod, really. Generally, I tend to walk past homeless people. It makes me feel uncomfortable, I think that's the main reason why. If you put it on yourself, I wouldn't like to give anyone any money or anything like that for being homeless. Well, just look like alcoholics. You don't usually give to them. Do you ever give to them? No. No. I don't, don't really know what they're going to spend it on, to be honest, so don't usually bother. It's the um, complacency of the masses. Being homeless doesn't mean you're hopeless. You can still make quite a contribution to society. And I think really there's just a whole number of homeless people really. So potentially, if you like, have got loads of different gifts and lots of things to offer. And some people who are well educated are out there really, but they just get, you know, you know the stigmas involved with homeless people and there's you know, stereotypes. And, you know, maybe some people can help people to, to break with those stereotypes. I'm homeless certainly not hopeless. Brian, you got some other brilliant phrases. He often says, no one's gonna roll out a red car carpet and book me a seat at one of Bath's finest restaurants. All I'm asking is that you buy my big issue. So just been thinking of this kind of a little bit of a dream really to um, to go off that one line of I'll never have a table booked to me at one of the finest restaurants and go and do it, go and book him a seat at one of Bath's finest restaurants. Simply just to show him that there's absolutely no reason why he shouldn't sit at that table. There's nothing that disqualifies him from sitting at a table in one of our finest restaurants. And because um, he's a fine gentleman. There's going to be anybody who's going to reserve a, um, a seat for me in one of the finest restaurants in Bath this evening. Anybody else like to buy a big issue? So here we are. It's the night. The, um, the dream is coming into itself. Yeah, just we're gonna go meet Brian, and we're doing it. We're gonna take him to uh, to one of Bath's finest restaurants, the Moon of Sixpence. It's, it's really classy. It's really beautiful. Really nice place. Great food. Great atmosphere. Um, Brian doesn't know this yet, so uh, yeah, he doesn't know exactly what's happening tonight. All he knows is he's getting a treat. But we're gonna fulfill his line of no one's gonna take me to one of Bath's finest restaurants. But tonight we are, and uh, he's gonna get treated like uh, like the man that he is. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good fun. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, 
Where it yeah. is. Come, come, come. It's just kind of amazing how yeah. yeah, blessed it feels tonight, really. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> Look forward to your pudding. I'm very much looking forward to my pudding, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this has happened very often. <laughs>